<laughs> spring. It is springtime. Grandpa Pig has made a chocolate egg hunt. Is everybody ready? No, Grandpa. Freddy Fox isn't here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Ah, hello, Mr Fox. Are you staying? I wish I could. Oh, I loved egg hunts when I was a little lad. See you later, Freddy. <laughs> now, are we ready for the egg hunt? Yes, yes Grandpa Pig. There are lots of chocolate eggs hidden in my garden. You must find them. Easy. But be careful not to step on my little plants. Oh, it's so exciting in springtime to see these baby plants starting to grow. We promise to be careful, Grandpa. Very good. Off you go, then. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's chocolate egg hunt has begun. Have you got time for a cup of tea, Grandpa Pig? Oh, yes. It will take them ages to find my eggs. I've hidden them very well. Here's an egg. Pepper has found a chocolate egg in a plant pot. Here's another egg. Rebecca Rabbit has found a chocolate egg hiding under a leafy bush. Hooray! An egg for me! Emily Elephant has found a chocolate egg in the branches of a tree. I think I can smell chocolate. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Yes! Freddy Fox has found a chocolate egg in the middle of the bird bath. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa! We found the chocolate eggs! It was really fun, but it was a bit easy. It wasn't easy for the little ones. George, Richard and Edmund haven't found any eggs. <laughs> I wonder where the other eggs are. <laughs> Chucky egg! <laughs> Ah, Edmund, I think there's something behind your ear. <laughs> Everyone has found a chocolate egg. What do we do now, Grandpa Pig? Ha <laughs> ha! You eat them, of course. <laughs> Hello, children. Granny, Granny, we found all the chocolate eggs. Well, where are they? I can't see any eggs. <laughs> They're in our tummies. And round your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Did Grandpa hide the eggs well? No. We big ones found them easily. But the little ones needed helping. <sighs> George, Richard and Edmund don't like to be the littlest ones. Don't worry. There'll soon be even littler ones in the garden. Oh, yes. The little babies. It's so exciting. Grandpa already told us about the baby plants, Granny. But it's not that exciting. We're not talking about baby plants, Peppa. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. They're chickens. Yes. And they have eggs, too. Can we eat them? No, Freddy. These eggs are about to hatch. <laughs> oh, we're just in time. The baby chicks are hatching. Oh, baby chicks! Now the chicks have hatched, it really is springtime. Let's pretend to be baby chicks. <laughs> I'm a little chick singing cheek cheek cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak beak beak. I've a fluffy yellow head and strong on my bed, and I jump up and down sing cheek cheek cheek. <laughs> Whistling. It is a lovely sunny morning, and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. 
Try making a smaller O shape. <laughs> oh, oh, like this. And then you can whistle a tune. I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. <laughs> it took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <sighs> oh, yes. Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <laughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling, anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. <whistles> Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody! Cookies! <coughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? Yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. What's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle. <laughs> Baby Alexander. Pepper and George's cousins are coming to visit today. <laughs> Mummy. Before Cousin Chloe is here. Not long now, Peppa. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure Baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? <coughs> is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's Baby Alexander. <coughs> Auntie Pig. You remember Baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah! <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? 
No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. Whee! I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Peppa is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> Oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. <coughs> here comes the aeroplane. <coughs> Open your mouth. And in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No. Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. But he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Peppa has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Blackberry bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today, I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, hi Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. 
Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going, Ah! Help me, help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well, mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. Pig, <laughs> <laughs> rattle and bang. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow! How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <coughs> what are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. 
Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes. <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop, stop! That is not music. That is just noise. Anybody can bang, bang, bang. But to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madame Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madame Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah. You're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra. Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. Madame Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. My daddy can shake, rattle and bang. <laughs> Elephant's birthday. <laughs> Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello. Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Still blinking. You're out. <laughs> You're moving, George. You're out. <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out. <laughs> so Zaza is the winner. Hooray! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, Musical Statues is over. Lovely. 
Now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Richard, just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Pass the parcel. Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass the parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. This is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Goose, please. Cheese, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy, Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> It is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> Let's visit. It is very early on Christmas morning. Pepper and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George! Wake up! <coughs> Santa's bean! <laughs> Bubble mix! <laughs> Comets! And tangerines! <laughs> Mummy! Daddy! It's Christmas! Hey, What? <sighs> it's too early, Pepper. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny! Grandpa! Ah! Don't panic! All hands on deck! <laughs> clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <laughs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This Christmas pudding is delicious. Pepper and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Pepper? Yes, I wished for. Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 
<laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I ask Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdseed. Birdseed. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> my doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Paper aeroplanes. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye-bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George <laughs> likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. We know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Peppa's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George! Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop-the-loop -loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Daddy Pig! Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Ho, oh, oh, ho, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Peppa. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. 
The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. That might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. <sighs> That's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> it is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Peppa? I've hurt my knee. <whistles> Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madame Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes, thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> Children's ward! <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee. And I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr. Potato. A carrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow. Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that, I wonder? Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs>
<laughs> it is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Pepper. Your knee is better. Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. Nay. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. <laughs> Everybody likes running around having fun. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing at Zoe Zebra's house. <laughs> Little Zuzu and Zaza are making a jungle with play clay. George has made a dinosaur out of play clay. <laughs> Pepper and Zoe are having a doll's picnic. Hello, Mr. Monkey. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr. Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <coughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. <coughs> mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh. Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow. <laughs> that looks Easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong! Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm! I'm a wiggly worm, I'm a wiggly worm, I'm made of clay, what shall I make today? I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands and I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know. George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes. 
Let's fill it with water. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hamster's tortoise. It is a school day. Children, Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. This is Binky, the budgie. Hello, Binky. Can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr. Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. <coughs> oh, it is. Is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. <laughs> I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. There's Tiddles! Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What? Again? Emergency! Emergency! Tortoise up a tree! I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. <laughs> Tiddles. Come on, Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are. Safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. 
so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. It is morning. Hooray! Look at muddy puddles! <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs Duck. What are you doing here? Wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh! Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Oh, chocolate. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper, comic. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing. With just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Uh, do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Thanks Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Happy Rabbit's Lighthouse. Pepper, George and Danny are having a day out on Grandad Dog's boat. Can we go to Pirate's Island today? Yes, Danny. But first, we've got to deliver supplies to my friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? On a rock. On a rock? Yes, in that lighthouse. Ooh. Ahoy there, matey. <laughs> I've brought your supplies. Oh, thank you, Grandad Dog. I've got my crew with me today. 
Danny, Pepper, and George. Visitors? I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get a bit lonely with just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Who? I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky and uh, uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. The sea, the, the sky, the sea, the sky. Here's your cheese. Oh. I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round. <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow. It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbits. Enjoy the sea and the sky. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, There are not three, many places to hide four, on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. What found you? Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? Boo! George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George. <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. Ah, <sighs> my new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Do you know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry! Hooray! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the foghorn? Of course. Fog! I can hear something. Grampy Rabbit is guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, yes please. please. Sun, sea and snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coat trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. It is morning. Yippee! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> eh? What? We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman! I'm cold! <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman! <laughs> Oh, it's just 
Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plow. Snow plows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr. Bull. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. <laughs> Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're all going on a seaside holiday. Seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs>